Hi, today I'm going to show you how to analyze data obtained with 10x protocol. We're going to start by opening terminal as usual and I'm going to go to 10x tutorial directory. And inside this directory, I have my XCR software and a raw folder. Now, in the raw folder, I have multiple FastQ files that contribute to one sample. It is quite common when a single sample is split between multiple FASQ files, when sequencing was performed on multiple lanes, as you can see here by the number after letter L, and also this sample has been split on different Illumina indexes, which you can see by the number after letter S. This is a quite common case in 10x derived data, and all of these files has to be processed simultaneously. And I'm going to start the command by providing path to my XCR, then analyze and the name of the preset is 10x SC XCR VZJ, which is a dedicated preset for 10x VZJ protocol. This preset requires the name of the species, so I'm going to provide it with the following parameter, and it's a human data set, so I'm going to type human here. Now, the next thing is to provide the list of input files, and instead of providing this long list of files that we have here, I'm going to use wildcards that allow to use a short pattern to provide numerous files to my XCR simultaneously. I'm going to start with the raw folder, then the common name which equals for all of the files b cell sample one underline one and then for the illumina index which is s9 10 11 or 12 i'm going to use a wild card a in double curly brackets which means that it will match any pattern in that position now next is underline l and I have to specify the lane number. And again, I'm going to use another wildcard N in double curly brackets to match any number. So 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4 will be aggregated. And finally, to pass the read number R1 or R2, we can also use another wildcard R in double curly brackets, which will parse the read number and pass it to my XCR correctly. And finally, to finish the pattern, I'm going to type the suffix, which is common for all of the files that we have here, 001.fastq.gz. Now, I'm going to put the output files in the results folder. And I will also specify the output prefix bcell sample1. Now, before we run the command, I'm going to add one more parameter, which is not required, but to speed up the analysis, I'm going to provide some extra memory to my XCR. I'm going to do that with the parameter minus XMX, and I'm going to provide 100 gigabytes of memory. Again, this is a non-required parameter, and the command will work without it, but this way it will work faster. Now we can just hit enter and start the analysis. While running, my XCR will report progress for every step of the pipeline as well as the reports for each of those steps. Now the analysis is complete and we see here some quality controls numbers as well and they might show us some issues that we might have with the data. Like here, for example, we see that only 50% of reads have been successfully aligned, and this issue needs to be addressed. But before we proceed and move into looking into the output files, I'm gonna run the command to create a visual quality control plot. My XCR export QC tags. And as an input, I'm going to provide the file, which is the main output file for my XCR analyze command CLNS file, B cell sample one, context CLNS. And 
the output I'm going to put into the results folder and I'm going to name it textqc.pdf. I'm going to hit enter and analyze it. And one more command to run is myxcr export qc chain usage. And again, I'm going to use the same main output file of the analyze command, the seal and s file b cell sample one context seal and s. And the output I'm also going to put into the results folder and I'm going to name it chain usage QC PDF. Hit enter, run it. And that's it. Now we can close the terminal. And now we can open the folder with Finder where we have all our files right here. If we look into the results folder, we see all of the files that were produced by my XCR analyze command. And I'm going to start by opening chain usage QC PDF. And here we see the distribution of different chains. And we see that about 45% of clones belong to heavy chain and another 55 share two types of light chains. Now we can close this plot and open the tags QC PDF. And here we see several PDFs regarding the filtering. The first one is the distribution of reads per UMI. And we see that MyXCR has automatically set a threshold separating the UMIs that are covered by the low number of reads. MyXCR will filter those UMIs out to eliminate artificial diversity. The next plot shows the distribution of the number of UMIs per cell. And again, MyXCR has evaluated the threshold to filter out the cells that are covered by the low number of UMIs, which again eliminates the artificial cell diversity. And the last PDF here shows the KMIR filter which describes the distribution of KMIRs of a fixed length along UMIs. And here again we see that MyXCR has set a threshold to exclude the UMIs unevenly covered by KMIRs, which again decreases the artificial diversity of the sample. Now, we can close this PDF file as well. And next we can open this TSV file with clones, which is the clonotype table, one of the main human readable outputs of the analyze command. And here we see a table with all of the clones, the first column shows us the clone ID and the second column shows the tag value cell which is the cell barcode and what we can do we can sort the data by this column and then it will become very easy to identify pairs of chains within each cell like here for example we see that the clone number 68 and 674 have the same cell barcode, that means they come from the same cell. And we have all the read counts, UMI counts, and all the standard outputs of my XCR. Here, for example, we see that one of these clones is a heavy chain, the other one is a light chain, which makes sense. And again, we have all the genes, all the alignments, frameworks, CDRs in nucleotide, and amino acid sequences. Now, this is the standard number of columns. Some more columns can be added, but I'm going to close that right now. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching.